yang sudah selesai pertemuan dengan yang mana? So children, those who are doing the exhibition of for math subject from class six, seven, eight, they will only join this breakout room. Other, please leave. Some children, yes, they are for science and audio subject also. Please do go to the room. Otherwise, you will not be able to exhibit your project. ಬುಝಾಬುಝಿ <laughs> 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 So good afternoon everybody. So good afternoon sir. We on the behalf of Junior Mathematics group we welcome our judges Mr. Santosh Kumar Raut mathematics teacher Devi Public School Bolani and Mr. Sudhanshu Sekhar Mahanti Devi Public School Valeshwar. So both the judges are here. I welcome uh, both of them 
now with the permission of the judges we will start the program judges please give permission thank you thank yes, you sir. sir yes sir sir yes, thank sir, you sir you are ready okay sir sir you can on your video ha uh, already we on our video but sometimes uh, will off ha sir cool Okay. okay so first presentation by uh, pratibha jha 8e pratibha jha 8e yes sir yes sir yes sir may i start sir yes children everyone i request everyone to on your video and keep your audio in mute mode all of you on your video and keep your audio in mute mode namaste you are warmly welcome to dav public school unit 8 bhubneshwar's aritak exhibition this is pratibha jha from class 80 exhibiting on the topic vedic aroma in mathematics so what is vedic math is the world's fastest mental math system based on 16 sutra or word formulae it builds and just a minute wait Pratibha, your video is on. Yes, ma'am. You are doing. You are presenting by laptop or phone. Are you using laptop? Laptop. Say loudly. Pratibha, are you using a laptop? Yes, ma'am. Yes ma'am your video is on Yes ma'am wait a minute we have to pin it then it will come yeah. Yes, Pratibha. Now you can start from the beginning. You start. Yes, ma'am. Increase your volume. Voice is not coming. Ma'am, now am I audible? Okay, start. Namaste. This is Pratibha Jha from Class A T. Welcoming you to the A B Public School Unit Eight, Bhubaneswar, Alitak Exhibition. This is me exhibiting on the topic. Pratibha, your yes. voice is very low. To adjust from your side, your mic, increase the volume. Yes, ma'am. One second. So this is me, ma'am. Now audible? No. Okay, but you continue with that. It's not so loud, but you continue. Yes, just I want to know, judges can hear her. Yes, ma'am, we can hear. Yes, yes, madam. Yes. Okay, okay, then Pratibha, you continue. Yes, ma'am. So my topic is Vedic aroma and mathematics.
ma'am the screen is not going forward ma'am yes any problem pratiba pratiba are you facing any problem we will go to the next participant yes ma'am what happened what's the problem ma'am the ppt is not moving i'm clicking but it's okay, not okay okay then you try we are doing with the next participant okay you try so the next is debes mishra from 6a debes are you ready yes ma'am start so good morning one and all present over here debes on the video ma'am i have turned it on Okay, start. Good afternoon, one and all present over here. I am Debesh Mishra from Class Six A, and today I will present on my chosen topic, Prastam of a Cone. So now the first question that arises in your mind when you hear the name of a person is that what is a frustum so in geometry a frustum is the portion of a solid that lies between one or two parallel planes cutting it horizontally the portion of a cone or pyramid which remains after its upper part has been cut off by a plane parallel to its base is called its frustum so now i will show you how a frustum looks practically so as you can see i have a cone in my hand and now i will cut it horizontally as you can see when we take out the top part the bottom part that is left is known as a frustum now we will learn about the various important formulas for a frustum of a cone suppose we want to find how much water a bucket can store so we will have to find its volume so the formula is 1 by 3 pi h r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 into r2 here i am referring r1 as the bottom radius and r2 as the radius of the upper part and suppose we want to find the total surface area which includes this part and this part as well so to find that we will the formula is pi l r1 plus r2 plus pi r1 square plus pi r2 square suppose if we want to find the third surface area this part of the frustum so the formula is pi r1 plus r2 into l it is a very important note that l is equals to h square plus r1 minus r2 square here h refers to the height of the frustum thank you and have a nice day ahead Yes, judges. You can ask questions to the base. Hello, the base. Yes, sir. That first room. Have you seen that first room in your daily life? Can you give that example of the first rooms? Yes, Only sir. That, the various ex. Sir, the various me. examples of a first room from our daily life are the glass that we use to drink water, 
the buckets that we use to bath and many other things okay it's slant height how will find sir that one l is what l is what there sir l is the slanting height of a fresh tub this part okay can you find it's a formula what is how to find out that uh, slab uh... yes sir the formula is the we will find the height then we will square it suppose the height is 2 so we will take 4 then we will add the we will subtract the radius from this one i am referring as r1 and this one i am referring as r2 so we will subtract r2 from r1 then we will square it and we will add it to 4 that we have the height square okay so then so sir you can ask uh, anything ah hello ah uh, yes sir hello devesh yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay, thank you. Uh, but uh, I will it, uh, ask you why two दिफरेंट रेडियस यू आर गेटिंग आर वन आर टू आर दे सेम और दे आर डिफरेंट नो सर दे आर डिफरेंट एज इन दोन सर इन दोन वी हैव सीन एज देर इज ओनली वन बेस सो देर विल बी वन रेडियस इन दमूला देर इज नो फंक्शन ऑफ आर वन आर टू और कैपिटल आर स्मॉल आर But over here in the frustum, mm -hmm. we have two bases. We can keep it as this or this. So we have two radiuses, as okay. the bases are circular in these sides. Okay. Can you just show me there uh, that model you have hold? Can you show me uh, what is the total surface area? I am not asking formula. Just show me the total surface area of that frustum. Yes, sir. Show me. The total. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh. This. In the total surface area, we yes. will add the per surface area, which is this part, okay, and this part as well, which it occupies when we keep it. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Pratibha Jha, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, please start. Sure, sure. Is my screen visible? Yes, your screen is visible. Make it full screen. Yes, sir. Yes, please start. The Avi Public School Unit Eight Bhubaneswar's Alitech Exhibition. This is me, Pratibha Jha, from Class Eighty, exhibiting on the topic Vedic Aroma in Mathematics. What is Vedic Maths? It is the world's fastest mental math system, based on sixteen sutras or world formulae. It also contains thirteen sub sutras. It can be read the same both backwards and forwards. What is it? Of course, a palindrome. Examples of a palindrome are on the screen: Madam, Radar, Race Car, and many more. What if I ask you palindrome in math? You quite easily list out to me these numbers. But palindrome in multiplication. Here's where Vedic math wins. Uttva Tiryak Sutra, or vertically and crosswise, is the example of multiplying two-digit numbers by palindrome method. First, we multiply the unit digits, then cross product sum, and then the tens. Example: four twos are eight, so eight. Four ones are four, and two threes are six, so zero here. One carry. Three ones are three, and one four. Four hundred and eight becomes our answer. Likewise, some examples. So, Antyayo Reva multiplying by eleven for three or more digit numbers. First, we write the last digit as is. Then we plus five plus two, that is seven. Two plus one, three, and one plus zero because no digit is to the left of one. So the answer becomes one three seven five. Likewise, two forty six into eleven becomes two seven zero six. The next method is Nikhilam Sutra, 
or the base method. For numbers close to powers of 10, 99 into 97. So 99 is how much away from 100? Minus 0, 01 and 97 is minus 0, 03. We make the partition, then minus 0, 01 into minus 0, 03 is 3. And 99 minus 0, 03 and 97 minus 0, 01 will equal to 96. Both will be equal in every grades. So 9603 becomes our answer. Likewise, first partition, 14 into 12, plus 4 plus 2, 8, and then 16, 168. Likewise, some more examples. Now we don't deal with simple multiplications. We deal with squares. So from Nikhilam method, we derive this. So what if I ask you to square 101? It takes time, right? But here, partition 101, 101 is one away from 100. So plus 01, then 102, 0, 01. 102 is 10404. Likewise, in the same method. The number of digits on the right side of the partition should be equal to the number of digits in the base. Large number in 10 seconds? Don't worry, you're not talking to someone who has completely lost it. Warp speed, what is it? Extremely quick speed of solving big calculations and warp maths is solving maths at the warp speed. Let us understand how we do this. So the second number, nine is one. How much do we add to it to make it the power of 10? One. So we subtract one from three, two, four, six, eight, five, four, which yields three, two, four, six, eight, five, three. And now we subtract three, two, four, six, eight, five, three from seven times nine. That yields us six, seven, five, three, one, four, six. So the answer will be combined. So what I asked as an introductory question, here's the answer. Don't you think we owe something to the maker of Vedic maths? It is. Bharti Krishna Tirthaji. He was born in March 1884, died February 2, 1960, spiritually enlightening soul. His book, Vedic Mathematics, comprises many algorithms. His work seems to be a whole parasita, that is, appendix itself. Think you can, and you're halfway there. At first, you may think that conventional method is easier than Vedic math, but practice it. It becomes magic for you. Thank you. Whether you want maths to be dull or boring and or fun and interesting, the choice is yours. Yes, just I request the judges to put their questions immediately after the student finishing their exhibits. Okay, Prakriya. Yes, sir. That uh, here, what what low cost effectiveness is there here? Can you tell me? The low cost. Anything is there? We don't. Yes, sir. We don't use calculators. I think we will not use calculators. We don't need to use here, so we don't need to waste money on that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sudhanshu, so, are you asked? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Pratibha. Uh, but my one concern is. Are you applying it in your daily life or just for? No, sir. Yeah. When I was surfing to, through it, yes. uh, when I came to know about this method, I am using it now. Okay. It is a very nice. I am very happy to see. Okay. Thank you. If you are applying in daily life. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, judges. Next participant, Swadeep Sarangi, 6A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, my respected my teachers, honorable judges, and my dear friends. I'm Swadeep Tarangi from Class 6A, going to exhibit my project before you on the topic of pattern on the subject mathematics. So, 
with starting i will show you some examples of pattern which are present in nature and we use in our daily life so the figure 1 is of leaf then the figure 2 is the patterns on the animals then the figure 3 is the picture of honeycomb and the figure 4 is the picture of waves at the sea and the figure 5 is the patterns present on the flower and the figure 6 is the fingerprint which is unique to all humans so which starting i would so some calendar tricks so i have a calendar here so if on the first calendar trick is that if we take nine numbers which are in a square of 3 by 3 then uh, and add the diagonals or the middle column or the middle row but we have not to add the middle number in any case so we will get the double of the middle number for example if we add 10 and 26 then we will get 36 which is the double of the middle number which is 18 so in the same case the other diagonal which is 12 and 24 if we add we also get 36 and in the same 17 and 19 and 11 and 25 so here our first calendar trick is over so now the second calendar trick is that if we take the dates uh, which represent a certain day of a certain month then we will see that it follows a pattern suppose i take the day wednesday uh, the dates representing it are 2 9 16 23 and 30 so it is also following a pattern called arithmetic progression which also means the difference of the number is always the same so here 2 and 9 the difference is 7 16 and 9 is also 7 then 23 and 16 is also 7 and 30 and 23 is also 7 so here our calendar tricks are over and we would go forward to some of the block so our here is a clock so our first clock trick is that if we add the opposite numbers on the clock for example 1 and then 7 then and uh, add we will get 8 and then 2 and 8 we will get 10 and here is a pattern that uh, it is 2 greater than the previous one so here also 3 and 9 it is 12 and it is also 2 more than 10 which was previous and here also 4 and 10 is 14 which is 2 greater than the previous one and here 11 and 5 then 6 and 12 so these all follow the same pattern and the second clock trick is that if we subtract the opposite uh, numbers in a clock then we would get a certain number which is 6 for example 1 or 7 and 1 then we will subtract it will become 6 then 2 and 8 it also become 6 then 9 and 3 is also 6 and 10 and 4 and so on up to 12 and 6 so here our clock tricks are over so now we will move forward to our math tricks so the first math trick is that if we take any two digit number then uh, reverse it and then add it to the first number which we have taken and then we will divide it by 11 we will see the magic that uh, the remainder will be zero so for example if we take the number 34 then uh, we will reverse it which will be 43 and uh, we will add the two numbers which is 34 and 43 we will get 77 and now if we divided by 11 we will get 7 as the quotient and remainder will be 0 so here the first trick is over then the second trick is that if we take any three digit number uh, suppose and then uh, reverse it and then we will subtract the smaller number from the larger one then we will divide it by 99 and we will see the magic that the remainder is 0 uh, for example if i take the number 123 then uh, we will reverse it which will be 
and now we will subtract the smaller number from the larger one which will be 321 minus 123 the difference will come 198 and then uh, so we will divide it by 99, which uh, the quotient will come to and the remainder will be zero. So here the second trick is also over. So the third uh, trick is that we have to join all the four dots in only three lines. So I can show it and the lines can go outside the boxes. So we can draw it like this. And here are nine dots, which we have to join all the dots in four lines only. So we will draw it like this. So then uh, there are 16 dots, which we have to join all the dots in uh, six lines only. So we will draw like this lines. So here our math tricks is over and we will move forward to our some types of pattern. So the first type of pattern is... Just a minute, you are exceeding your time. Be faster. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, the first type of pattern is that uh, symmetry. Symmetry can be seen in living things or in nature. Animals that move have bilateral or mirror symmetry as this favor movement. Plants also have radial or notational symmetry as do many flowers as well as animals which are largely static as adults such as sea animals. Symmetry comes from the Greek word meaning to measure together and is widely used in the study of geometry. So for example, I have the flower which is uh, which is also symmetry and then we would move to our second type of pattern which is spiral spiral patterns are found in the body plants of animal including molluses such as the nautilus and in the multiple spiral found in flower head such as the sunflower and fruits so structure like the pineapple for example sir this is a sansevieria plant and the leaves uh, look like the spiral because they are constantly trying to grow, but by staying secure. So here our types of pattern over. And the last one is Fibonacci sequence. So it was first written in 6th century in India. The Fibonacci sequence is powerful application in nature. The basic principle is that if we add the two preceding number, then we will get the third number. For example, 0 plus 1 is 1, then 1 plus 1 is 2, and it carries on. If we graph this pattern, then we would get something called the golden spiral. In math, the golden ratio, which is 1.618, that produces these spirals, have many applications. In nature, these spirals can be seen in plants, snails, genetics, storm patterns, galaxies, and all kinds of places. So the um, example of Fibonacci sequence in nature is that the family tree of a male bee, so, which follows the Fibonacci sequence. So at the last, thank you. Sir, completed. Sudang sir, please ask. Sir. Sudhang sir. Santosh sir, you can also ask, sir. Are, actually, I want to ask that, sir. Hello? Yes, sir, I can, can hear. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear. That, who you know that Fibonacci, whose, whose name is that one? He is from which, uh, which country, that mathematics said? Do you know? Sir, uh, it... Uh... It was, uh, sir, I think Egypt uh, that I have not remembered. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, where we are using many, many ways you have shown that we are using, but uh, 
okay its application is uh, very we are using this uh, fibonacci series in higher classes okay thank you very much you have given that more information to us about the calendar that it is in ap okay sudan sir you please ask okay sir yes, yes sir a little bit problem was here but uh, i am very happy to see that uh, child is swadesh uh, regarding the pattern uh, lots of information given but uh, it is all right but uh, try to apply it okay okay thank you yes sir thank you sir so thank you judges next participant ayush amritya bhol yes sir yes please start your presentation okay sir so can you see yes 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 good afternoon sir myself i am amritya bhol today i am going to present a math project named as integer board it has three properties addition subtraction and multiplication let's take a look on it please make the ppt full screen okay sir children you know your time limit is 5 minutes so please be ready with everything if you will exceed your time you may lose your marks ayush start your presentation soon okay you do let leave it leave it you present present leave it okay ma'am start ma sir So this is negative side, sir. This is positive side, sir. In addition, we move towards the sir uh, positive side or right side, sir. In subtraction, we move towards the left side, sir. It is called negative side, sir. Uh, let's take some examples, sir. Minus seven plus five, sir. Minus seven, one, two, three, four, and five. So the answer is minus two, sir. In a, a subtraction, three minus four, one, two, three, and four. Sir, the answer is minus one. Sir, in multiplication we start from zero. The so zero is also called origin. Sir, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sir, the answer is six. Sir, adding and some subtracting integer. Sir, it is also sir we can add and keep the sign like four plus three two equals to six and minus six plus minus eight equals to minus fifteen. Sir, multiplying or the dividing integers. If the sir, if the sign are uh, in the integer, we can add also the product and quotient is positive. Sir, like four into four equals to sixteen, and eight divided four equals to two. Sir, if the signs of the integer are different, sir, the product and quotient is negative. Sir, sir, the examples are seven into minus six equals to minus forty-two. Six divided by minus three equals to minus two. So thank you. Is there any question? Hmm. Yes, Amrutya. Yes, sir. All right. Presentation is very nice. But I will ask you, which one is the largest integer? Positive, largest positive integer? Sir, we can't find, sir. Okay. Largest positive integer we cannot find. Yes, sir. Okay. Smallest? Sir, uh, smallest. Uh, Sir, uh, sir, it would be sir one. Positive. Yes, sir. No negative. Sir, uh, sir, largest sir minus one. Le negative, negative. Sir, largest. Yes, yes. Sir, largest negative integer would be minus one. And the smallest. Sir, smallest sir we can't find. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir, thank you, sir. Okay, okay, very good. 
आयुष माय क्वेश्चन यस सर यस सर ओके अमृत्यो अमृत्यो सर अमृत्यो नॉट आयुष अमृत्यो आयुष अमृत बोल ना आयुष अमृत बोल यस सर हां आयुष अमृत बोल ओके ओके सर ओके आयुष माय क्वेश्चन इज इन द माय इफ आई विल फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन -1 टू 1 व्हाट विल बी द डिस्टेंस कैन यू टेल द -1 एंड 1 Yes. What is the distance between minus one and one? Sir, uh, zero. Sir, uh, it will be between. It will be zero, sir. Zero. Yes. You sir. measure that distance can be negative. Distance, uh, no, sir. And then, then minus one to one. Now, what? How, how much distance is there? Minus one to one. For example, you are going to minus one to one. How much? How much distance you are covering? Sir, one. it may be kilometer or meter or centimeter any millimeter also okay okay it will be how much distance will be always positive or not huh? yes sir yes sir okay you think think oh, thank you thank you sir thank, thank you sir. i thank you sir thank you judges so next participant shreyans padi yes sir wait wait i use close your ppt The red clothes. Okay, Srians, please start. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So just wait a minute. Uh, enter screen. Yes. So is my screen visible? Yes, yes. Please make it full screen. Ah, uh, full screen. Yes, sir. F five. This moment only it will load. F five. Yes, sir. I know, sir, but it is not. Yes, sir. Now respond. Are why not responding? Sir, is my screen now visible? Okay, okay, okay. Continue. Sir, sir, no need to worry, Baba. We can see. Sir, we can see okay, you. Okay, sir. Okay. Continue. Good morning, one and all. Please be here. My name is Ryan Spardi, and I am going to present my math project named as "How to Prove That the Area of the Circle Is Pi R Square." So, what do we mean by a pi R? Switch on your own video. Uh, uh, sir, is it now visible? Yes, yes. So, what do we mean by a pi? It is ratio. It is circumference of a circle to its diameter in h, approximately equal to three point one four one five nine. So here a question comes that a boy walks around a circle which has a diameter of hundred meter. How far the boy has walked? Solution is distance walked is circumference, and circumference is equal to pi multiplied hundred meter, which is equal to three hundred fourteen point one five nine meter. What is the radius? The area and the circumference. Of a circle are also measured in terms of radius. What do we mean by an area? The area is the quantity that shows the amount of space occupied by a two-dimensional figure or shape. What it is a two-dimensional representation of a length of a curve or a volume of a solid. So it is related to the concept. In the first step, we have to make the circle as shown in the presentation, and then we have to divide the circle into many parts. And the third step, we have to arrange the parts in a rectangular figure. In the fourth step, we have noted that the area of the circle is equal to the area of the rectangle. And then B is equal to base multiplied R is equal to radius, so which is equal to pi R multiplied R, which is equal to pi R square. That's all. Sudhant so sir, please. Sir, okay. Friends, um, for the figure here shown, uh, not uh, looking like rectangle. Can you just uh, little bit explain if you know it? 
yes sir um sir i have taken the parts little bigger so it is not looking like a rectangle but if okay. we will take the uh, if we will divide the circle into very small parts so it okay. will just look like a rectangle okay then circle is divided into number of parts after arranging you are getting a rectangle area is the length into breadth yes yes sir okay can you tell me why it is pi r ah uh, yes length. sir ha uh, this length sir, you have taken pi r no ha uh. yes sir so the uh, circumference of the circle is equal to double of the base of the rectangle which is equal to 2 pi r 2 mm. pi r by 2 which is equal to pi r and mm. pi r multiplied r which is equal to pi r mm. that means the uh, circle you have shaded with the blue and white half of yes, the sir. part is here pi r and upper half is pi r total is 2 pi r yes yes sir okay thank you beta thank you sir santu sir okay strength strength yes sir are where will i use it this uh, can you tell me can you give me an example of uh, its uh, uses or application where we are using yes sir uh, sir by taking yes. a land owner a land owner has a circular circular pit so we it has to find the area of the pit so we can do this process in that formula okay 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 it is wide use of this uh, circle we are using circle yes or no yes sir okay 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 thank you thank you thank you judges so our next participant तथागत पंडा आर यू रेडी तथागत पंडा यस यस सर सर आई एम रेडी प्लीज स्टार्ट यस सर आई एम रेडी सर जस्ट ए मिनिट Do you need extra time? Shall we skip to another child? Uh, yes, sir. The page is hanging, so it is okay, taking okay. a lot so, of time. So can I? Uh, so, after can I? So next, uh, Bhupesh Priyadarshini, are you ready? Yes, sir. Ready. Please start. Okay, sir. A very good afternoon to all present over here, respective judges, principal, ma'am, teachers, and my all dear friends. Today, I am with Sapriya Darshini from Class Six, Section E, going to present before you our Maths Project Pix Theorem. So now I am going to showcase a model of this project. So I is equal to interior part and B is equal to boundary part. The formula for the area is I plus B by two minus one. So I is equal to two pins and B is equal to six pins. So two plus six by two minus one equal to four. Hence the area is four. Now I am. I would like to show the presentation on Pick's theorem. Sir, the screen is visible. Yes, yes, visible. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Here the theme is technology and impact on society and environment, and the chosen topic is Pick's theorem. What is Pick's theorem? In geometry, Pick's theorem is a formula for the area of a polygon with integer. Coordinates in terms of the integer points within it and the boundary. Who created Pick's theorem? George Alexander Pick created Pick's theorem. He discovered of the theorem question. George Alexander Pick was born in eighteen fifty nine in Vienna. Dead around nine forty three in the residential concentration camp. he made significant contributions analysis and differential geometry the theorem we are concerned 
was first published in 1899. How does Pick's theorem work? In lattice polygon, in lattice polygon whose boundary consists of a sequence of connected non-intersecting segments, area is equal to i plus b by 2 minus 1. I is equal to number of interior lattice points and P equal to number of boundary lattice points. So I is equal to 31 points and B equal to 6 points. Area equal to 31 plus 6 by 2 minus 1 equal to 33. Next slide. What is the formula of Pick's theorem? The formula of the Pick's theorem is A area equal to I and i plus b by 2 minus 1, i equal to interior part and b equal to boundary part. How do we solve Pick's theorem? To use Pick's theorem on a shape like the on a walk, you simply need to apply the theorem to the green shape without the hole and then subtract the area of the hole. This approach can be expanded to a polygon with any number of holes. How do we find the area of a lattice polygon? A lattice polygon is a shape made of straight lines whose vertices are all lattice points and Pick's theorem gives a formula for the area of lattice polygon. Area of the polygon. Why do we subtract one in Pick's theorem? What does this theorem say? It says that when you draw any lattice polygon, you can count the points on the interior, add that to half of the number of points that lie on the sides, including the vertices, and subtract one, and that will give you the area of value of the polygon. Here it is A equal to 1 by 2P plus I minus 1. Thanks for watching. Sudansu, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, Pratikya belongs to six class. Okay. Uh, uh, she explained properly this theorem. But uh, one, one question I will ask you. How did you know it? Abhip, sir? Yes, sir. How did you know it? Because you are belongs to six class. Sir, How did you know it? Be honest. No problem. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, I collected from my Lalitendu, sir. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay. I will guide you in the future. Keep it up. Okay. Thank you. So many times. Abhish, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell uh, what is polygon? Can you tell me what is a polygon? Which has a six sides. Six sides is a polygon. If three sides, is it is not a polygon? Yes, sir, it's a polygon. Triangle is a polygon. Okay, quadrilateral is also a polygon. Then you say, go through the definition. What is actually polygon? In your mind, it will ask, uh, other friends may ask you that, what is polygon actually? How to find out this area? Area, perimeter. Okay, okay. Thank you. You have given that good, in, uh, that is more information too about that theorem. Thank you, thank you. So many no, no, is, it, is it clear polygon? Abhip sir, polygon is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. No, 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 no. I didn't say that definition till now. No, no, no I see it clear. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, thank you, judges. Our next participant, Sai Nikhil Rai, 6E. Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Please start. A very warm welcome to everyone, respected judges, principal ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. This is Saini Killer from Class 6 Section E presenting a topic Volume of a cone is equal to one third of the volume of a cylinder having same height and radius. To prove that, relation of a cone and a cylinder. Relation to a cylinder. So we all know the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. 
if you compare the two formulas, you will see one is exactly a third of the other. This means that the volume of a cone is exactly one third of the volume of a cylinder with same height and radius. Such a cylinder is also known as a circumscribed cylinder. A question may arise. What is circumscribed cylinder? A figure covering a another figure. Now we are going to find the volume of a cone. The cylinder has a volume of 63 pi cubic feet. Let us take an example. A radius 3 feet and height 7 feet. So to find the cylinder's volume, pi into 3 square into 7 is equal to 63 pi. The cone has a volume that is 1 by 3 of that or 21 cubic feet. In the side, it, it, it is a diagram of it. If the radius of both is R and the height for both is S, then the volume of a cylinder is pi R square H. That means that volume V of the cone is v, volume is equal to 1 by 3 pi R square H. Thank you. Let me show you a small activity. I have a cone and a cylinder with same height and radius. Let me fill the cone with cone with some sand and sand. And let's see how many times it takes to fill the cone with the help of cone with the help cylinder with the help of a cone. One, two, and three. So it took three times to fill the cylinder with the help of a cone. So it is proved that the volume of a cone is one third of the volume of a cylinder. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Judges, please. Ask. Yes, sir. Time is kill, no? Yes, sir. Uh, you have a verified uh, volume of a cone is one third the volume of cylinder. Yes. Yes, sir. And uh, you have taken the uh, base uh, that uh, volume of cylinder is pi r square h. Yes? Volume of cylinder you have shown, no? Pi r square h. Yes, Is it sir. audible? Yes, sir. It is audible. Okay. Just can you tell me how it will? it is pi r square h? So by multiplying no no my point is how how it is pi r square h cylinder volume is pi r square h then it is one third uh, is the cone yes sir okay can you tell me how it is pi r square h <coughs> Okay, listen. Yes, cylinder you have seen, you have holding cylinder? Yes, sir. So you see the base of the cylinder, what is? Yes, sir. Circular, yes? Yes, sir. And you must be knowing area of a circle is pi r square. Yes, sir. Yes? Very good. And it is up to certain height. Yes, sir. So volume is always base area into height. Yes, sir. Isn't it or not? Yes, sir. So, since the base area is pi r square and it is up to certain height, so base area into height it is pi r square h. Okay, beta? 
Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your nice presentation. Okay. Sir. Okay, Nikhil. Yes. Sai Nikhil Roy. Roy or Ray? Sir Ray. Okay, Ray. Okay, uh, the cone. Have you seen that cone in at home? Can you give me that example of a cone in in your home you are using? The ice cream cone. Uh, what what what? The cone of ice cream. Ice, ice cream. Oh, are you eating the ice cream? Then no. No. If uh, you are saying that same thing, I am asking you. The cylinder base is same. I have kept or in your uh, in your house, the father has kept some ice cream in a cylindrical box. The radius of that cylinder is also equal to the radius of the cone. And the height of that, how much so your father has kept that uh, ice cream? That what is the height of that cylinder is also equal to height of the cone now. Then how many how many conical ice cream you will make it from that uh, cylinder? So three. Three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Keep it up. Okay. Very thank good. You. Very good. Your answer okay, is very you, nice. Thank ah, thank you. So, thank you, judges. Uh, now our next participant is Shreyans Behra, 7A. Shreyans Behra, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, please start. Shreyans Behra. Yes, sir. Please start. Sir, is it Sir, is it visible? No, no. Not visible. So now? No. Yes, yeah, yes, visible. Yes, yes. Please start. Please start. Shreyans Behra. Shreyans, please start. Yes, sir, Kati. Sir, please give him some time. Good morning, everyone. Let's get the teachers and the rest. Myself, Shreyans Behra from Class 7, Session 8. Today, I am going to show my project on Pythagoras Theorem. The theorem of Pythagoras is a well-known theorem. It is also a very old one. Not only does it bear the name of Pythagoras, an ancient Greek, but it also, but it was also known to the ancient Babylon. Excuse me, Sreyans. Excuse me, Sreyans. Yes, sir. Your your PPT is not visible. Mm, yes, sir. Not visible. It is. Please share your video and PPT at the same time. No, no, video, video should be on. Uh, yes. Now PPT will. And where is your video? That is on. Uh, now both are visible. Thank you. Continue. Good morning, everyone. My session. Good morning, everyone. Let's go to teachers and judges. My session is from class and session is going to present my project on Pythagoras theorem. The theorem of Pythagoras is a well known theorem. It is also a very old one. Not only does it bear the name of Pythagoras, an ancient Greek, but it was also known to the ancient Babylonians and the ancient Egyptians. Most school students know it as a square plus b square equals c square. The actual statement of the theorem is more to do with the areas. Here we have taken a here we have taken a right angle triangle and here we have taken a right angle triangle and the base plus 
the base plus perpendicular if the square of the base plus the square of the perpendicular is equal to the square of the hypotenuse the theorem makes reference to a right angle triangle the theorem makes reference to a right angle triangle the side the side which is opposite to the right angle is known as the hypotenuse the square of the square of the b side which we have taken 3 cm and the square of the perpendicular which we have taken 4 is equal to the is equal to the hypotenuse here we have taken base equals 3 and perpendicular equals 4 so base square so base square which is equal to 9 and the perpendicular square which is equal to 16 is equal to the hypotenuse square which is equal to 25 so here the hypotenuse is if so we will root over the 25 so we will get 5 so the hypotenuse equals to 5 in this project the horizontal bar so the the horizontal bar shows the b side and the vertical bar and the vertical bar shows the a side if we take If we take four centimeter in a side, uh, if we take seven in a side and twenty-four and twenty, if we take seven in the perpendicular side and twenty-four in the vertical side, side, so we will get twenty-five, which is the hypotenuse. If we will take the perpendicular as twelve and the base as thirty-five, so our hypotenuse will be thirty-seven. If we will take, if we will take twenty as the perpendicular and twenty-one. Twenty as perpendicular and twenty one as the as the base, so we will get twenty nine. So here the so so it proves that the the square of hypotenuse is equal to the square of the base and perpendicular. It is used to calculate the length of They are kept to reach the window to find the length of the longest item that can be kept in your room. Find the steepness of hills or mountains. To find the steepness of origin, to find the original height of a tree broken due to the heavy rain and lying on itself. To determine heights and measurements in construction sites. To paint on high buildings, painters often use. the help of this theorem this theorem is useful for two dimensional two dimensional navigation it is also used to measure the distance of ships from the lighthouse in air base also it is used to calculate how far does the plane need to travel before it lands it is also used in a building it is also used in building a slide on the bar real life pythagoras real life application on the pythagoras theorem some real life application to introduce the concept of pythagoras theorem to your middle school students are given below the pythagoras theorem is useful for two dimensional thank you have a nice day judges please ask sir yes sir thank you Triams, uh, my one simple question to you: You have uh, told many things about Pythagoras theorem, its application, real life situation, everything. All right, I am happy. My question is: Can you find the one uh, diagonal of a rectangle? Yes, sir. How you will find? Which theorem to be used? 
I want to know to find the diagonal of a rectangle when two sides are given. Sir, if the two sides are given, so so if we will take, sir, if we will take the take hmm? the square root of the square. If Simple. We will take the okay, okay. Wait, wait. I I got your point. Simple by using Pythagoras theorem because a rectangle 90 degree angles are there. So diagonal is representing the hypotenuse. Okay, yes, for sir. the triangle. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah, in this way, very simple. Uh, you are uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Okay, Sians, uh, Sians or Sians. Uh, my question is: Can you give me a Pythagorean triplet example of Pythagorean triplet? Only that. Sir. Sir, sir, can you repeat the question again? Sir is asking Pythagorean triplet. Can you give one example? Sir, sir is 5, 5 square hmm. plus 12 square equals 13 square. Okay, then 5, 12 and 13 is a, uh, that is a Pythagorean triplet. 3, 5, yes, 4. Sir. 354. Sir? 354. Is it a Pythagorean triplet? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. So, thank you, judges. So, our next person, Tathagat Panda, are you ready? Tathagat Panda? Yes, yes, sir. Now I am ready. Yes, sir. I am okay, ready. Okay, you can start now. Yes, sir. I can see some problem in there. Yes, sir, it's loading. Okay. Sandi Das. Next participant, Sandi Das. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm showing. I'm the target. I'm showing. Okay, start the thagat. Start. Yes, sir. Sir, is it visible? No, no, your slide is not Excuse visible. Excuse me, sir. Slide is not visible. Devices hanging. Okay, okay. You can show anything if, without slide. You can listen. You stop presenting and you present what you are on your video and show it. Okay, that slide presentation. You stop it and only with your video you present what you want to do. Uh, Ma'am, I, 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 I will show through the slides. As I am explained through the sides, uh, slides, I will explain. Okay, not... sir, madam, sir, yes. please allow him to show letter after th two, three okay, participants. Okay. Sanvidas, Tathagati, wait. Sanvidas, are you ready? Sanvidas, this is there. Sanvi, can you hear me? Okay, Aniket Padi of 7F. Yes, ma'am. You start. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, someone is presenting the screen. Ma'am, 
एक्सक्यूज मी मॅम येस ए मॅम समवन इज प्रेझेंट इन द स्क्रीन सो आय कांट येस चिल्ड्रन हु इज शेअरिंग स्क्रीन प्लीज स्टॉप शेअरिंग yes aniket now it came you do on your video aniket on your video yes ma'am yes good, good morning myself aniket padi of good morning myself aniket padi of class 7 section f today i am going to tell you about something about perimeter and area when it comes to learning maths not every student is a fan some students are confused with the concept of perimeter and area because they experience difficulty in understanding area or are unable to connect themselves with the everyday experience with area and perimeter so i will introduce you the concept of perimeter and area without in, uh, without introducing you the actual formula right away now till class 7th we have studied about the concept of shapes let's move on to our next topic which is perimeter and area perimeter is just a fancy name that means distance or the length around the shape but what actually does the uh, distance around the shape means it means distance around the path or the boundary that is to be traced for example let's take a rectangle of length 7 cm and breadth 3 cm so the perimeter of this uh, rectangle will be uh, as it is told that the boundary that is to be traced so the perimeter of this rectangle will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 20 20 20 20 so the perimeter of this rectangle will be 20 cm we can also learn it in uh, by giving it a formula that is 2 into length plus breadth now let us see another example which is square for square let us take an example which is uh, uh, the length of the square let's take the side 3 cm so the perimeter of this square will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the perimeter of this square will be 9 cm square sorry 12 cm square so by this way we can find the perimeter of this square yes, simple no. form yes sir uh, uh, area unit listen perimeter unit cannot be square centimeter okay it is simple yes, centimeter sir. okay sir now we have defined what perimeter is let's see what area means area refers to the surface of an enclosed surface let us take an example of this let us take an area of a rectangle the length will be 7 cm and the breadth will be 3 cm again so the area of this rectangle will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. so the area of this 21 square unit uh, by this way we can uh, see how the area of rectangle is now let us see how area of a square is so let us take the example as 3 cm and find the area so area of a, a square is side into side which is also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the area of the square is 9 cm square in this way uh, i present you my project thank you judges please hello hello niket yes sir Uh, can you define said what is the difference between that perimeter and area yes sir sir a perimeter means the boundary of the means polygon or the quadrilateral and the uh, means the uh, the area means the 
Area means area means the surface of an enclosed figure. Okay, okay. Have you seen the playground? Have you seen your school playground? Yes, sir. Have you seen that football ground? It is, is it a rectangle or a square? Sir, it is a rectangle. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sudang sir, by you please ask. Okay, very nice. Uh, Aniket, now uh, you have not told about the perimeter for triangle. Yes, sir. Sir, we can also find of different polygons. Uh, how to find the perimeter of a triangle? Sir, uh, um, for example, if I take uh, uh, the height of the triangle as uh, uh, let us take three sides of a triangle. That mm -hmm. is A, B, and C. Yes. If if A will be five centimeter and B will be nine centimeter and C will be seven centimeter, so yes. A plus B plus C is equal to the perimeter of the triangle. Okay, beta. Thank you. Sum up three sides of the triangle. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So thank you, judges. Uh, next, Sanvi Das. Sanvidas. Are you ready, Sanvidas? Aniket, stop sharing the screen. Aniket, stop sharing the screen. Aniket. Yes, sir. Sandy. Sandy. Sanbi, please start. Sanbi, are you facing any network issue? Yes, no, she started. Yes, start. start. Sir, is my screen visible? Uh, no, you start. It's not coming. You start. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Sanvita, class 7, section D, going to share my presentation on the topic. Switch on your video. Sanvita, share your video. Yes, ma'am. Sanvi, switch on your video. Your video is not coming. Okay, you present, present, say what you want to say. say. So next participant, Kumar Aditya, are you ready? Yes, sir. Please start. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Kumar Aditya of Class A, Section B, going to present.
you model on the topic of cubes and cubes. So about the project. It is a handmade model which detects the cube roots of certain given numbers. The inside of the model is made up of some mechanics where we rotate the gears to see all the numbers, numbers cube roots. So here is the demonstration. Cube root of 1331 is equal to 11. Cube root of 1728 is equal to 12. Like that, we go on. Properties of cubes and cube roots. Properties of cube. It has all its faces, all its faces in a square shape. All the shape, all the faces or sides have equal dimensions. Each of the faces meets the uh, meet the other four faces. The edges opposite to each other are parallel. Properties of cube roots. The cube root of unity has two imaginary roots, W and W to the power 2, and one real root, that is 1. The sum of the roots of the cube root of unity is equal to 0. 1 plus W is equal to W to the power 2, that is equal to 0. The square of one imaginary root, W, of the cube root, of unity is equal to another imaginary root that is w to the power 2 of the cube root of unity. How to find a cube root? The cube root of a number can be calculated by finding the prime factorization of the given number and then later applying the cube root formula. Suppose x is any number such that x is equal to y into y into y. Cube root of x will be equal to cube root of y into y into y that is equal to y, where y is the cube root of any number that is x. This also means that the number x would be a perfect cube if y has an integer value. Applications of cubes and cube roots. It is used in day-to-day -day mathematics like in powers exponents. To find the side of a 3D cube, its volume is given as if we have a room of a cube and the length of one side equal to two units, then the area of that room will be two to the power three, that is equal to eight cubic unit. And if we know volume of any cube room, cube root, and want to find find out the side of side length then we use cube root as let area equal to 27 then side equals to cube root of 27 that is equal to three units thank you have a good day ahead hello aditya yes sir hello yes sir okay, you, have, uh, you have given the presentation which one you have made, then can you find the cube root of uh, 216? Or you have fixed inside that uh, of the that box so that uh, which one will be rotated, then that one particularly some values will come. So actually here, uh, only the cube roots, uh, cube roots, cubes of only 11 to 20. So okay. two ones. Okay, so, okay. So okay, then... You have you seen that cube? Are you using in your daily life? Yes, sir. Ice cubes. So one cubic uh, room. So dice is also. Can you can you tell me the other name of a cube? So to the power three. You know other name of a cube. So other name of cube. One one so cube. Volume. You know cube. So you are telling dice or like this other example you are telling the other name. Sir. Uh. Sir, let him proceed. Okay, listen, it is called also square prism. Yes, sir. Because the base is square? 
top is also square parallel base and top parallel so square prism prism and pyramid that one i am telling okay okay sir okay thank you beta thank you sir so thank you judges so next participant is ap pratyusha yes sir please start yes sir start सर 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 ए बुक ऑफ नेचर इज रिटर्न इन दैंग्वेज ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स विद दिस वंडरफुल कोट बाय गैल I wish everyone good afternoon esteemed judges respected principal ma'am knowledgeable teachers and all my dear friends today i ap pratyusha of class 8 section c i'm going to beautifully explain to you a pattern present in mathematics known as the fibonacci numbers in mathematics the fibonacci numbers commonly denoted as f below n form a sequence the fibonacci sequence in which each number is the sum of its two preceding ones we can we generally start it from zero but one can omit zero and start it from one and two these are named after the italian mathematician leonardo of pisa later known as fibonacci who introduced the sequence to western european mathematics in his 1202 book liber abaci So here with me, as you can see on the screen here, I have started from zero and one. When we add zero and one, we get one, which is a Fibonacci number. Upon adding one and one, we get two. And as you can see, two is the sum of its two preceding numbers, one and one. So we can continue this for as long as we want because Fibonacci numbers are infinite. So let me test. So you some more. When we add one plus one, we get three. Upon adding two plus three, we get five. Upon adding three plus five, we get eight. And upon adding five plus eight, we get thirteen. Do you know something interesting? The Fibonacci numbers are called nature's secret code. Do you know why? Because they are present among the nature. So, for example, I was lucky enough to get a pineapple. And when we go in anti-clockwise direction, we can see that glow. Go in anti-clockwise direction, we can see that there are eight spirals, and eight is a Fibonacci number. In going, in going in anti-clockwise direction, we get thirteen spirals, and thirteen is a Fibonacci number. So, why don't we check out some interesting patterns? They uh, they will also make you more amazed. So, for pattern number one. we are going to write all the fibonacci numbers in a sequence and the squares of our numbers below them in a sequence so what will happen when we add the uh, squares of fibonacci numbers let's check it out upon adding the square of 1 and 1 we get 2 and wow 2 is also a fibonacci number let's see if this works with other pairs also upon adding the square of 1 and 2 which is 1 plus 4 we get 5 and when we add the square of 2 and 3 we get 13 it also works with bigger pairs of numbers for example when we add the square of 5 and 8 that is 25 plus 64 we get 89 so what can we conclude from this we can conclude that when we add consecutive squares of consecutive fibonacci numbers we get a number which is a fibonacci number itself so why don't we add some bigger groups of numbers So for pattern number two, we are going to add some bigger group sum number. So here I have added the square of one, one and two, and we get six. And when we add the square of one, one, uh, uh, two and three, we get twelve, fifteen. But they are not interesting, right? Six and fifteen are not Fibonacci numbers. So why are we so amazed about them? That's why you are wrong. The Fibonacci numbers are hidden inside them. We know six is the product of two and three, and fifteen is the product of three and five, and two, three, five, all are Fibonacci numbers. So now the question arises: Why is the square of one, one, two, and three add up to fifteen, which is the product of three and five? Let me explain this to you with a simple figure. So, so here I have a square of one centimeter. Now we are going to test it onto the model. 
So as you can see now, I have got a square of one centimeter and its rightmost edge is a one centimeter now. So I'm going to add another square to it. Now we have got two squares. And as you can see now, the bottom most edge is of two centimeter now. One centimeter plus one centimeter. So we're going to add another square of two centimeter below it. As you can see now, the rightmost edge becomes two centimeter plus one centimeter, which is three centimeter. So let me add another square beside it. You can continue this for as long as you want, but I am going to stop here. So now, uh, as you can see, we added a bunch of squares and got a pretty rectangle. Now, what is the area of the rectangle? Yes, the area of the rectangle is sum of the areas of all the squares inside it. So it will be one square plus one square plus two square plus three square. That is one plus one plus four plus nine which gives us 15 centimeter square. But also we know that the length area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Here, as you can see, the length is three centimeter plus two centimeter, which gives us five centimeter and its breadth is three centimeter. So the area becomes length into breadth that is five into three, which is 15 centimeter square. So this proves our point that when we add consecutive squares of consecutive Fibonacci numbers, one number at a time, we get a number which is the product of any two consecutive Fibonacci numbers. So this wonderful Fibonacci numbers have many uses in the modern world. It is widely used in computer data structures and sorting algorithms, financial engineering, audio compression and architectural engineering. For example, in computer algorithms, it is used in the Fibonacci search technique and the Fibonacci heap data structure. Artists recognize the Fibonacci spiral which we get when we graph the numbers in the squares and inspire quarter circles inside them as, a, as an expression of an aesthetically pleasing principle. It is used in the composition of a picture by balancing out the features of the image. So why don't we recap what we learned now? Yes, so for this, I have this Fibonacci number line. And do you remember how I told you we can start it from zero? Yes, you can start it from zero. So the numbers are zero, one, one, two, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. So now, uh, do you also remember how I told you it is nature's secret code? Well, let me give us the most specific examples. Can you see this pretty white color flower? Yes, it is a beautiful flower. And can you see something in it? Yes, it has three petals inside them. The second flower has five in them. The third flower has eight petals, while the fourth one has 13 petals. And can you uh, guess something? Yes, 3, 5, 8, and 13, all are Fibonacci numbers. So at last, I have this beautiful pop-up card. And as, uh, as I had told you, it is used in the architecture engineering. An example is the Taj Mahal present in Agra. And how I told you about artists, uh, artists using this? Yes, as you can see, it is used in the painting of Mona Lisa to balance out its features. And once again, the tasty pineapple has come here. And you can see that 13 spirals are present in clockwise and eight spirals in anti-clockwise direction. And three and 18 are both Fibonacci numbers. So I hope you learned something interesting today. Thank you. Hello, hello, uh, hello, Pratyu sir. Yes, sir. The Fibonacci series, where, which class it is? Uh, Fibonacci series is a, in a, it is in AP. It can form an arithmetic progression or not? Yes, sir. It can make that arithmetic progression. When will AP will form? Sir, can you again repeat your voice was breaking? Uh, I am asking you that uh, the Fibonacci series can be a, can be a, an AP or not. So I'm not getting you the voices actually. Okay, if it is, can you tell me what is arithmetic progression? No, okay, okay, thank you. Sudhan, sir, sir, anything? Sir. No, sir, all right, sir. Thank you, thank you, Pratish, sir. Thank you, thank you sir. Uh, so, Sanvi Das, are you ready still now? Sanvi? Sanvi? 
नहीं तो नेक्स्ट पार्टिसिपेंट <coughs> जीत रहा प्लीज स्टार्ट पावर पॉइंट इज विजिबल स्विच ऑन योर ओन वीडियो योर वीडियो इज नॉट विजिबल ओके यू कंटिन्यू ओके कंटिन्यू हा नाउ विजिबल स्टार्ट Good afternoon, one and all present over here. Respected principal, ma'am, honourable judges, knowledgeable teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, I, J. Raha of Standard A, is happy to present a statistical representation of internet usage in India over the past period. So here it goes. Internet has revolutionized human civilization and its advancement. The world became global village courtesy to internet. The use of internet has tremendously increased in India. I think Jeet has some internet problem, so I call the next participant, Bhavya Das. Bhavya Das, are you ready? Yes, sir. I am ready, sir. Please start. Yes, sir. Please start fast. Yes, sir. Forty million. Yes, I have forty million. And forty million. Online. Jeet, Jeet, Jeet. Jeet. Yes, sir. Jeet, I think you have some internet yes, problem. Yes, sir. I think you have some internet problem. Please stop. You will go start. Do after some time. Okay, sir. Let Bhavya do. Bhavya, please start. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Good evening, everybody. Respected principal, ma'am, esteemed judges, and teachers. I am Bhavya Das of Standard Eight F, here in my study room, extending you all a warm welcome to my mathematics project, non-Euclidean geometry and its applications. What is the sum of the interior angles of the triangle? It is one eighty degree. You can see here the so some types of triangle. The uh, no matter what type of triangle is drawn, if it is drawn on a flat surface, Excuse me, judges. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, am I audible? Yes. yes continue. Sir. Continue. Okay, sir. Let us see. 
to perform this activity we need a ball a pen and a flexible protractor sir is I, am i visible yes yes visible yes yes you are visible tell are tell fast to bhabhiya you will get only 5 minutes present to start with to start with i will draw a triangle name it as triangle a b and c and with my protractor i'll start measuring the angles of the triangle angle a 110 degree angle b 90 degree and angle c 75 degree so as we can observe here the sum of the interior angles is 275 degree which is obviously more than 180 degree one might wonder on what principle does this works on the answer is non euclidean geometry studies curved rather than flat surfaces because euclid had um, uh, euclid had stated that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degree on a flat surface and he and he believe you share your slides yes ma yes ma'am and a question arises in our mind why should we go for this the answer is euclid framed his principles while measuring the surface of the earth and he believed it was flat and euclid couldn't he could not imagine this possibility and as a result it was left for the great mathematician carl fredrik gauss to try on the same principle which failed on curved surfaces to start non euclidean geometry so after being aware of such information about non euclidean geometry the next question arises in our mind is what are the applications of non euclidean geometry well non euclidean geometry finds its uses in study of cosmology it is the st study of structure origin and constitution and evolution of universe it also finds uh, its finds its uses in theory of relativity where the space is curved finds uh, uses in measurement of the shortest distance between any two places on earth and it finds its uses in celestial mechanics looking forward to a world of applications of these ideas in new newer fields and a plethora of avenues i hope this piece of information was an interesting one for all of you i appreciate your patience thank you and have a great day ahead i am bhavya dash judges please hello hello bhavya yes sir are can you tell me how we we'll find in the distance between two point in a cartesian plane so mr sir yeah, sir in a cartesian plane yes sir uh, you can find the distance between two places far away from that that uh, the two places in that way can you find this way also how to find the two point this two points has been given you have to find the distance between two points Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Sir, I don't know, sir. Sir, I will find it and let you know, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, that, 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 I am asking that way. How to find? Tell me that one. Yes, okay. tell. If the two places are there, how to find that uh, distance between two places? That I will tell. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. So, sir, anything? Okay, sir. Thank you. Babia, thank you. So, thank next you. participant, Sanvi, are you ready? Sanvi? Sanvi? Sanvi, are you ready? San... Ayla, Ayla. Yes, Anbi, please start. Sanvi, are you ready or still any problem? No. Can you pin Gangaru? Okay, next participant, Sai Sri. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Sai Sri, please start. Sir, uh, someone is representing. How can I just present? Sanvi, if I'm audible to you, then please stop screen sharing. Totally your presentation is not visible. You stop screen sharing, let other students do. Yes, I see you can start now. Yes, sir. Your PowerPoint. A very warm morning to all my teachers and judges. Hope in this pandemic, everyone is well and good. Today, I, Aishri Satpati of Class 8, Section F, is here to talk about applications of coordinate geometry in real life. René Descartes, a greatest mathematician and philosopher. He was living during 17th century. He developed a new method called coordinate geometry to describe a curve in an arithmetic way, which was proved useful for the future development of science. It all started in his bedroom when he was lying peacefully on his bed and suddenly his eyes caught and fly on his bedroom ceiling. The curiosity for knowing its exact place led to this guy's amazing invention of coordinate geometry. In order to define the point mathematically, he took help of two references, which is x-axis and y-axis. This is known as Cartesian plane. It is named after his own name, which is Cartesian. This is how a Cartesian plane looks like. This is the x-axis, which is horizontal, and this is the y-axis, which is vertical. It is divided into four equal parts, the first one is positive, positive. The second one is negative and positive. The third one is negative, negative. And the last one is positive and negative. Coming to its application. Coordinate geometry has an extensive usage in our daily life. Our Earth is the biggest example which we can have in our first place. Our Earth surface is divided by two imaginary lines, which is longitude and latitude. This basically provides the reference plane to find a geographical point on the Earth's surface. One of the major contributions of coordinate geometry is to find the di direction, distance, as well as the angle of an object with respect to another object. Later, by feeding all these mathematical inputs to a satellite, human race could evolve around many scientific upcomings. 
This is a rough diagram of our earth. The line joining the west point to the east point is the latitude and the line joining the north point with the south point is the longitude. Similar to these lines, many other lines are drawn which are parallel to each other. The coordinates are denoted as degree when we are finding a geographical point. Here, let's take an example as 40 degree north and 30 degree west. So first coordinate is 40 degree north. So you have to go towards the north direction, which is towards the up 40 degree and then move towards the left, which is west. Now, this is the point as shown in the picture that you will get. Earlier, people used to find directions with the help of stars like Shaptirshi Mandal or North Pole or a magnetic compass. But now, we have a latest app which is Global Positioning System, that is GPS, which helps us to find the directions as well as the distance of a place. This blue point is basically my house and this red point is my school, which is DAV Unit 8. Now the lane which is covered with blue color is the distance and the directions I have to cover to reach my school within 15 minutes. About daily life, the first thing that comes in our mind is our nature. Plants also follows the principle of coordinate geometry. Here we have a plant. Now you can see all the leaves are distributed evenly in either sides of the stem to look beautiful from all the directions. Moving forward, as I said earlier, coordinate geometry was defined to describe a curve. So it is used for drawing as well. By using all these coordinates, we can make a drawing which is like this, that is a dog's face. Now let's take a quick example and the steps we have to follow to get a drawing. So we have these coordinates here. For marking these coordinates, we need a Cartesian plane, which is this. Then we have to locate the point and name them in an alphabetical order so that we can join them. Now after pointing this and naming them, we have, just, we have to connect them to get a closed figure. And this is the final output. Hence, we prove that it is drawing, it is used for drawing as well. Last but not the least, any magnet object uses coordinate geometry in either ways to look in a beautiful shape. Thank you, everyone. Hello, Sayasri. Your presentation is very nice. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, the, Thank you, are you, uh, uh, do you know that Renda Discurs is from which country? That Renda Discurs, that Sorry, you are from know. which country? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know okay, the okay. answer. No, 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 no. It is okay. Because you have chosen that uh, topic, it is in the uh, class eight also, you know, class is there or not? Introduction of graph, that Cartesian verb, uh, plane Yes, sir, there. it is there. It, that plane is divided into four equal parts or it is divided by into four quadrants? So four quadrants. Four quadrants, okay. Okay, not that, that it is divided into four equal parts, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. And then one thing, one thing I want to ask you. Yes, sir. Since you are telling me about the coordinate geometry, coordinate geometry or Cartesian plane. Yes, sir. Okay. Then where you are using it? Where we are using? So when, what is its application? So when we have to find the distance of a particular place from a certain point, we can use coordinate geometry. Okay. Then you have to take that. Uh, that two lines are perpendicular to each other, one line will be uh, parallel to the horizontal, another will be perpendicular. Can you find in that way? No, sir. Uh, we have okay. a method to find okay. that by just in our okay. mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sir, Sudang, sir, please. Sir, sir. Okay, Sai Sri, you have uh, presented very nicely about the topic application of a coordinate geometry. So, you know, plotting the points. 
x coordinate y coordinate what are the other name of x coordinate and y coordinate so the names uh, other name of x coordinate and y coordinate so two you are marking one point having two coordinates no x coordinate y yes, coordinate sir. So, yes, what sir. are the other name of x coordinate? What is sorry, the sorry. other name of x coordinate and other name of y coordinate? I don't know, sir. Okay, other name of x coordinate is abscissa ordinate. You know abscissa ordinate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm ah, sorry, yes, sir. yes. That is that is all right. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. So, our next participant, Aditi Modi. Are you ready? Sir. Please start. A very good evening to all and the world here. Arya Diki Modi from class 6 is going to present before you my math topic. I'm going to show property of triangle. So, uh, so this is my PPT and this is my model. Angle sum property of triangle. A digital in innovation of new era of mathematics. The sum of angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. Let us take a triangle ABC. Whose vertices are A, B, C? So the three angles are angle A, angle B, angle C. We have to show that angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Now let us divide the triangle into three equal regions. As soon as each region will contain each of the three angles. Let us draw a straight line PQ which represents 180 degrees. Now we will place all the three regions. Triangle around the line PQ in the below shown that minus as the three vertices touch each other at the point to the line PQ. From the above activity, we have calculated that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. In this activity, we have drawn that this angle A, angle B, angle C lie together along line PQ. This means that their name sum is 180 degrees. Thank you for observing my PPT. Recently, please ask. Hello, Aditi. Yes, sir. What is the angle sum of a triangle? Is 180 degree? Yes, sir. What is the angle sum of a quadrilateral? The sum of the angles of a quadrilateral? 60 degree, sir. 360 degree. 360 degree, okay. Then from here, the only you know that only the form of the angles of a triangle equals to 180 degree. How many angles of a triangle are there? Can you repeat the In a triangle, how many angles are there? So three angles are there. Three angles are there. In quadrilateral, how many angles are there? So four angles are there. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Sudam sir, please. Sir, sir. <coughs> okay, Aditi. Yes, sir. Sum of three angles of a triangle is 180. Interior angle sum, yes? In, uh, as sir told, uh, angle, uh, triangle has three angles and their sum is 180 degree, yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me the sum of exterior angles, all exterior angles? Do you have any idea? Sir, 360 degree. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. 
गुड गुड थैंक यू सर सर और नेक्स्ट पार्टिसिपेंट सानवी दास प्लीज स्टार्ट सानवी दास जीत आर यू रेडी जीत सर आई एम रेडी सर इज माई वॉइस ऑडिबल ना ये प्लीज स्टार्ट सर आई एम स्टार्टिंग Can be stopped. Sir, is my screen visible? Yes, your screen is visible, Jit. Good afternoon, one and all. Present over here, respected principal, ma'am, honourable judges, knowledgeable teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, I, Jit Raha of Standard A, is happy to. represent a statistical representation of internet usage in india over the past few years so let's start here it goes internet has revolutionized the human civilization and its advancement the world became a global village thanks to the internet to use the internet it has tremendously increased in india to understand its effect on society a detailed study is very much required the project touches some aspects of internet usage in india we all are familiar with the word internet even this conversation is also possible only due to the internet but what is the main definition of internet the definition of internet is it allows millions of computers and mobile users around the world to share transmit and exchange information the internet is a huge network of computers spanning this planet here's a statistical representation of the internet uses in india over the last 5 years internet has contributed technologically advancement and development in india the lockdown due to covid situation contributed to the boost of the internet users in india the other reasons are availability of internet is a cheaper price faster way of communication and information sharing and many others why there was only 228 million users that is only 16.5 percent in india were using the internet in 2016 in 2020 it rose to 750 million users that is almost 54% of the total population and furthermore to possibly 1% of the total population that is almost 840 million internet users and 43% of the population came online in 2020 2021 attending virtual meetings mainly by the school going to children and also in offices colleges and in various other institutions at all work done online internet users gender distribution the gender difference in internet usage has also been reduced in 2015 it was 40% as you can see here but in 2020 it has been reduced to 11% the male internet users are only 60% and the female internet internet users are the 40% it is also due to the awareness created among the public and various other government schemes launched on saving girl child internet usage in urban and rural internet usage in urban and rural areas there has also been a significant rise 
in the urban internet usage in the year 2016 it was 47% of the total urban population in india the same increase of 67% in the year 2020 and 83% in 2021 the rural internet usage has not been so productive in rural areas which caused difficulties in attending online classes by the students due to the covid pandemic 14% of the rural india had access to internet in the year 2016 and in 2021 it is almost 35% of the total rural population if we see comparison of internet usage by different age groups we will see that the 12 to 19 years age group dominates it by 31% were mainly the school going children attending online classes in 2021 it was only only 14% in 2019 the majority is the 20 to 39 years age group they contribute 54% to the internet usage they are mainly the college going students or the uh, or the person who is going to offices or in businesses the 40 plus age people do not contribute much they only use 15% it was 32% in 2016 2019 a small case study on internet users in odisha there has also been a significant rise in internet usage in odisha state also due to the covid pandemic it is observed that in the year 2016 only 2% of the population of odisha used internet while it stepped up to 21% in 2019 and further to 29% in 2021 that's almost 27% internet users increase in these 6 years that was my presentation on the internet users so why we can use this data and statistics this data and statistics can be used for mapping out the users for maintaining database marketing exercises for better customer identification business management developing a business model identification of sectors and regions for internet facility and various others thank you for your patient hearing I hope you enjoyed it. Any question? Hello, Jit. Yes, sir. Are what is the meaning of statistics? So the statistics is the meaning that uh, the collection of data that we put in a place using some. Uh, using in a in a scale that we put that is with the statistics uh, we can say that status of a state status of a state so what is the status of a state or the, yes, that sir. one we are showing in a different way that pictorial graph or data we are collecting and writing but status status of a state yes, okay sir. okay uh, sir you are Yes, okay okay jit your presentation was very nice uh, you have told to many thing yes, about sir. the internet and its uses so what are the disadvantages of uh, using internet any it has a good many good qualities we know sir, yes there are like cons yes sir mm. sir like everything internet has also some cons like yes. sir now we are giving online exams yes so sir many students use unfair means by using the internet means yes. so not to get getting the so question paper they are, are asking bad... google okay yes sir they are using some unfair means okay thank you beta thank you thank you thank you sir thank you sir so our next participant sanvi yes sir Yes, please start. Yes. Hello. 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 Hello.
मैथमेटिक्स मेक्स आवर लाइफ ऑर्डरली एंड प्रिवेंट केयर्स सर्टन क्वालिटीज दैट आर नर्चर बाय मैथमेटिक्स आर क्रिएटिविटी एब्सट्रैक्ट थिंकिंग क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग problem solving ability effective communication skill etc applications of mathematics like the area perimeter volume of figures are used in our day to day life in different fields area of sphere equals to 4 pi r square which is area of four circles of equal radius and the radius of each circle should be equivalent to the radius of the sphere now we will do an activity to prove this the materials required for this activity are a spherical object scale rounder pencil thread glue and a chart paper first we need to find the diameter of the spherical object which is equal to 8 cm then we have to find its radius by dividing 8 cm with 2 which is equals to 4 cm using 4 cm as the radius we have to construct four circles like this after this we have to cover this spherical object with the thread using this glue after the covering the object would look like this using the same length of thread we have to cover this four circles using this glue after the covering the four circles would look like this so from this we conclude that the diameter of circle equal to the diameter of the sphere here the area of each circle equals to pi r square so the area of four circles would be 4 pi r square so the surface area of sphere equals to 4 pi r square um there are many objects in our day to day life which are spherical in shape like the volleyball football basketball to find the area of such object we use this formula from all this we conclude that there is nothing we can do without mathematics everything around us is math everything around us is number mathematics is the only place where we can create and solve problem life without mathematics would be meaningless hence mathematics is one of the most important part of our life thank you yes judges please ha uh, hello sanvi yes sir okay i was listening your presentation was very nice thank you uh, i would uh, explain uh, properly the surface area of uh, sphere uh, do you have any idea about hemisphere do you have any idea about hemisphere no sir hemisphere so half... yes yes you are absolutely right yes half of the sphere sphere If you will find the surface area, total surface area of a hemisphere, then what it will be? Sir, four pi r square by two. Okay, no, no. Actually, you are divide means when you will find the surface area, you are telling the upper part. Okay, you yes. are telling the upper part, but when you will cut the down part, is a circle. Yes, sir. And that area is pi r square. All right. Yes, sir. So the upper part is two pi r square, down is pi r square. So hemisphere total surface area will be three pi r square. Okay, sir. Ah, because uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Santosh sir. Any question, please, sir. And any difference is there in the uh, surface area and total surface area of a sphere? The core surface area and the total surface area of a sphere. Any difference no. is there? No, sir. No, they are what? They are same. So, can I please repeat again? Yes, no. I am telling that for surface area, space, sphere, 
and the total surface area of the sphere, sphere are same yes. or different? Sir, they Depends. are same. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, about the hemisphere, when we are talking that hemisphere, at home, have you seen that uh, that uh, your mother is cooking the, that kodai, used to cover with that another circular plate. Then when you come talk about the total surface area, the half of the sphere is two pi square, and which one is covered that? That will be pi square, three pi yeah. square. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. thank you, sir. Tathagat Ponda, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm there. Yes, sir. Ready? Are you sir, ready? Can I press? Yes, yes sir. Start. Uh, yes, sir. Good afternoon, one and all present over here, esteemed judges, respected teachers, and my dear friends. Today, I, Tathagat Ponda of Class 6, Section C, is going to present a project on advancement of measurement and calculations. Measurement is defined as the process of comparison of an unknown quantity with a known or standard quantity. Early man used to measure things based on random quantification like number of stones or sticks. After that, they started measuring things based on capacity of a certain container like one box of grains or one bag of rice. Similarly, with the passage of time, humans were introduced to advanced instruments that helped in more efficient calculations within short time. Abacus. Abacus was the first counting machine. The abacus was merely the beginning of mankind's interest in calculating machine. It is a calculating tool which has been used since ancient times. It consists of rows of movable beads or similar objects strung on a wire. They represent digits. Then calculator. An electronic calculator is typically a portable electronic device used to perform calculations ranging from basic arithmetic to complex mathematics. The first solid state electronic calculator was created in the early 1960s. Types of calculators. Some of the most popular calculator types are listed below. Basic calculators, scientific calculators, graphing calculators, financial calculators, and printing calculators. Computer and phone calculator. As the calculators became popular amongst people, it came with a limited calculation and portability. Computer calculators were introduced, which helped in performing large-scale and complicated calculations within fractions of seconds, which are followed by mobile calculators for easy portability. Then comes the advancements from the... to mobile and laptop calculators. Here is the advancement of measurement and calculation. Is it over? Yes, sir, it is over. So, judges, any question? Hello, Tathagata, what is your topic? Sir, my topic is advancement of calculation and measurement. Okay, calculation and measurement, which is very much useful in your daily life. Yes, sir. The people are using that calculator and the, the mobile also mobile uh, that to multiply or divide very soon. Any technique you have shown that uh, to find out that? 